Hey, Ford Sakes here with a quick little video message about AI prompting. Now, for some of you, you may feel like you're already an expert. If so, great. Uh, but you never know. You don't know what you don't know. So it might be worth a quick refresher or to share this with those people who you know need to know how to prompt more effectively. You know, AI has completely changed the way we work, create, and solve problems. Now, it's no longer about typing a question into Google and hoping for a basic answer. Today's AI tools are smarter, they're more powerful, and they're multimodal. Now, what does that mean? That means you can talk to it. It can see, it can hear, it can speak. You can upload images, and you can have real two-way conversations that feel natural. Yeah, it's a little bit creepy. Now, whether you're brand new to AI or whether you've been using it and you think you've got it all figured out, there's always more you can learn. And the truth is, you don't know what you don't know, and even a quick refresher can help you unlock better results. So here's the key. While AI can act like a brilliant expert and do amazing things, you still have to monitor it like a brand new intern because it will hallucinate, it will make false claims, or it'll even show bias if you're not paying attention. Now in this short video, I'm gonna walk you through the simple seven step framework to help you and your team get better results when using AI tools like ChatGPT, Perplexity, Copilot, Gemini, Claude, or any other AI platform. Step number one, define the task clearly. Start by telling the AI tool exactly what you want it to do. Be as specific and as detailed as possible. A vague prompt creates vague results. A clear prompt produces clear and useful answers. Number two, provide context. That's right, explain the context and any background information that the AI might need to know. You can also assign it a role or a persona, like act as a marketing expert or a customer service agent or a project manager or as a financial advisor or as a relationship coach. Context helps the AI give you more accurate and more relevant responses. Step number three, identify the audience. Tell the AI exactly who the final output is for, whether it's for executives, maybe your customers, your ideal client profile, maybe it's for new employees or current employees or students. But knowing the audience helps the AI adjust the tone, the style, and the language accordingly. Step four, specify the format and the output type. Be clear about how you want the information delivered. Should it be in a list? a paragraph, a bulleted table, a bulleted list, should it be a full script, give it as much instructions as you can about the output. Should the output be short or concise or detailed and in long form? Now you can even ask for specific outputs like social media posts, summaries, reports for your CRM or outlines. Step number five, use examples or templates. If you have a style or structure that you like, show it to the AI tool. All those AI tools have a little plus sign or a paperclip that allow you to upload documents as references. Providing examples like a sample paragraph or a template or a document, EDF even, helps the AI better understand the results that you're aiming for. Number six, ask for clarification. At the end of every prompt, put something like, do you understand, ask me questions until you do, or what else do you need in order to complete this properly? Now this encourages the AI to use follow-up questions if anything is unclear and it leads to stronger and more complete responses. Number seven, iterate and improve. Don't expect perfection on the first try. Review all AI output, give it feedback and refine your prompt as needed. You know, prompting is an ongoing conversation so you need to adjust, improve and keep experimenting to get the best results. Well, that's it. Effective prompting is the real key to using AI tools successfully. Remember, the better you define the task, provide context, and guide the conversation, the better your results will be. Treat AI as a team member on your team or a coach, not just a tool you use. But with practice, you'll unlock the full potential of AI to save you time, boost productivity, and drive real business growth. Now it's your turn. I want you to start applying these seven steps and watch your AI results dramatically improve.